What's up guys, GT Gamer here and welcome back to Transport Fever Los Santos. And at the end of the last episode, I left you on a bit of a cliffhanger. We put a new train on the, uh, well, our own train line. And it wasn't doing as good as we thought it would be. We had no passengers in La Mesa. So, let's find out if that has changed. Ready? Yes, it has. We now have 11 passengers at the station. Our train has a capacity, I believe, of 14. Where is the train? Uh, there it is. Yep. Capacity of 14, and it's actually getting quite full. Is it making a profit yet? Not quite. It's minus 20,000, but bearing in mind it was minus 46,000 on the last trip. It's definitely getting there. And we also have... Uh, quite a bit of money so what I'm gonna do is this tra the train when it comes uh, about to go through a new month when it comes back down the track uh, I'm, yeah I'm gonna do it anyway I'm gonna send it into the depot we're gonna put a new carriage on this bad boy so let's follow it first person nah actually no I always go first person. We're going to go third person for a bit and have a bit of a look around because the views are actually pretty good in this game. Like, look at that. Look at Stab City the way that's grown. The train's not the best to look at. Gotta be fair, it's not the best looking train. I'd rather have the General, but they're very expensive. I was looking at upgrading the line a minute ago. Go to depot. I was looking at how much it would cost to upgrade the line a minute ago. And to have a general with two carriages is like 500,000, so I'm not going to be doing that. Oh. Oh, we have another train. Okay. That actually presents a bit of a problem because we can't... We don't have the capacity for two trains. Okay. You. Can I click you? Uh. Okay. Sell. Do you know what? We might have enough. To upgrade the line. We might be able to get enough. Ooh, that would be good. Right. I'm going to pause it at the end of this month. And we're going to see exactly what we can do. I think we might be able to get a general, guys. I, gen I genuinely do. And pause. Right, it's the 28th. We have 457,000. Uh... If I send that to a new level and sell this, 578,000 by train. General, 317. Ah! We're like 11 grand short. Oh, please tell me we can get that. Please. For the love of God. No, not quite. Yep, yeah, there. Yes! Oh, I am really happy now. I am really happy. Right, you go back out, close all you, and play, and we're definitely having a ride on this. This is the general, the sexy train. Oh, yeah. Damn, I am really happy right now. This track definitely needs a bit of smoothing, but that's not really a problem at the moment. I don't care that we're negative, this train is cool. Just turn it around so we can actually see it. Oh, better go through houses. Look at that. Now that is a train. Train to behold. What's the capacity now? 28. I wonder if you can full it. Full it? Fill it. I don't know. How many people are waiting at... Uh, I forgot the name. Sandy. I should have known that. Four. Eek. Please tell me this wasn't a very expensive mistake. Not sure if you're going to afford those yet. <laughs> oh, God. How many people are waiting down here? One, really? We had like 11 a minute ago. Uh, we need to start double tracking this. But how much is that gonna cost? Probably somewhere in the region of a few hundred thousand. Ooh, RF plate of fuel's losing us a bit of money. Why is that not carrying much? I don't know, maybe it'll bounce back. It's only eight years old, so it can't be the price of the wagons. Huh. Oh well. We do need some new vehicles. Especially on Calafia. I think they're going to be some of our main lines. Uh, buy road vehicles. Let's have one. Uh, not quite enough for two. 
two, set line, Calafio one, one, no, come on. Should probably check the money before I just click buy. And it's definitely moving a lot quicker now, the money. Let's hope that's a trend that continues. 9,012, there you go. Two, you're going on Calafia. Two, what else needs some vehicles? Uh, grapeseed fuel could do with a few. Ooh, ooh, not quite enough. And we've just gone through a new month. So, scratch that for now. Right, our cities are growing. Oh, wow, 868 on Los Santos. That's pretty good. Vinewood second, Sandy Shores third. Yeah, we're definitely doing quite well, I, th I think. I got a really weird stutter today. I can't talk. This this entire week, I've just been really tongue-tied. It's not been a very good week, though, so... I'm allowed to be a bit meh. It's funny, every single week I end up coming on here and saying, no, it's not been a very good week this week. Oh, well. <laughs> right, Stab City has a weird hole right in the middle of it. The problem with Stab City is it's right on the side of a hill. And when this grows, it's just going to grow straight through a mountain. Like, already, look at this by here. That's got to be 100 foot relative to the house, maybe 80, 100 feet. And, but yeah, same thing, not quite as high though. It's just going to grow straight into the mountain and there's not really much we can do about it. Oh well. Right, what was I doing? I was putting on some vehicles. And then after that, I think we might start double tracking some stuff. Oh wow, it's December already. We went through New Year between these episodes, just while I was saving up some money. Uh, nothing really happened, no new vehicles or anything. Right, what did I say needed vehicles? Let's buy them before we go through the month end. Uh, let's just buy loads of them. Open the lines. Uh, we can get another one. Right. Uh, Grapeseed fuel needs a few. It's not quite as many as we got, though. I just keep clicking until we... We're going to go for a new year, and we're going to be negative for a bit, so I might as well buy as many as I can. Uh, 29. Can we get one more? I think we can. Yep. Right. Oh, hello. Polito fuel suddenly picked up. A few of these are going on Polito, so one... Two, three, all of you are going on Polito Fuel. That's going to be a very good line for us. Polito Fuel, Polito Fuel. And we got six left, so I'm thinking three for each fuel line. Would that work? Uh, grapeseed Fuel, so you, you, and you. Grapeseed Fuel, there you are. Grapeseed and grape seed close all you and the last three where's sandy fuel how's uh yeah sandy fuel how are you doing not well so all of you sandy fuel that's pretty much how i wanted it the train started losing a bit more money that's not really surprising let's check the the uh, finances on it so we was going up, then it started going down, that's when we put the extension in. And it's going back up again, so yeah, that's pretty much, that's pretty good. It's going to keep losing us money for the time being, why is it carrying zero, where is it? Uh, where, there it is. Not many people tend to ride between Sandy and Stab, but not really much we can do about that. How many people are waiting here? One. How many are here? None. Okay. Come all the way down here. Why is the usage suddenly dropped? Three. Hmm, damn. Oh, we got someone waiting here now. Where are they going? La Mesa? Yeah. La Mesa tends to be more popular from Sandy Shores. Right. What else needs work? We need more vehicles on the Grapeseed food line. Uh, yeah, we do. Okay. And Calafia Loop's gone back up again and it's up to capacity. So, I was just looking at the train line. 
trying to figure out why its usage is so low because it's the fastest route up north and I've come up with a few possible solutions both of which are kind of not brilliant. The first is its demand. We've got no routes. If I show you the lines when they load, yeah, we've got no routes connecting Cypress Flats and La Mesa to Los Santos and Vinewood. Not brilliant. That means that the only people who can go north on the train are the people in La Mesa and Cypress Flats. And the other factor is that we look at the frequency, 21 minutes. That means that people would have to wait 20, up to 21 minutes on the station before they get up north. So it'd probably be quicker to get a bus or something. But we take that's why people were using the bus route before. That's why we stopped it coming across the bridge. So I think the best thing we could do is expand the train across to Los Santos and also double track the entire length so we can have we can increase the frequency both of which are very very expensive like you saw how much it was to put a bridge across this river and we've got no more loan left like let me just show you this uh, if we used to have a single track bridge across there look at that six hundred and seventy thousand dollars the cheapest we could get it is well that was the cheapest 830 it's getting more expensive how the hell does that work it's just not gonna happen and I'm not gonna put the no cost mod on because that would be cheating so double tracking it it seems to be the only option to increase the frequency and get two trains on there but again, that's going to be expensive. But I suppose we don't have much choice. Huh. I'm just trying to think of another solution, but that really is the only one. Another problem is, that's going into the wrong platform by there. Right, pause. Let's remedy this. Let's fix this. So this needs to come into this platform. Oh, nice and cheap. That's just how I like it. And of course, that won't work. Son of a gun. No, nope, not at all. Damn. And I can't delete that bit of road because, yeah, more expensive than the bridge.com. Okay, we're just going to have to double track it from here. For now at least. Look at that, 42,000 to dig into this cliff. All the way along, 100,000. I feel a time lapse coming on.
Okay guys, so we've double tracked most of it, we've double tracked the longest section from Sandy Shores down to the city and we've just got to do this bit now and the good news is if we check the lines the train is no longer losing us 100,000 uh, it's actually losing us 34,000 now, it was just nearly full a minute ago and a lot of our other lines are doing extremely well as well. Now we got a bit of cash, let me just double track this little section here. It's not very tidy through here, I'll admit that, but the price it costs to relay it, it's not worth it. I'd rather a messy like When we're like rich kind of thing, then we can think about upgrading it and doing better lines and stuff. Right, come on, there. Uh, there's no point going any further. Look how much our monthly payments are now, mind. They're like $75,000. It's not very good. And the train is now losing us only 23000 The good news is, it's starting to get near capacity, which means we could justify putting another train on. How much it would, how long it would take to get enough money to do that, God knows, but at least, at least we can consider doing it. And the problem is, now we put the general on, the other train as well will have to be a general, otherwise it'll catch up the bold one. So, yeah, not not very. Didn't think very, didn't think it through. Let's put it like that. Right, we just need a bit of cash now to put this track in. But yeah, our other lines are doing extremely well still. If anything, they're getting better. Like the grapeseed food lines now making us three hundred and thirty thousand, which is it's gone up definitely. Right, let me just close that a sec. Ah, damn, end of the month, and it's about to be the end of the year. Right, just out of interest, how much to forty-four thousand? I doubt we can get that this month. If I'm brutally honest, might have to leave it till next year to finish this track, which is a bit of a bugger. I'm not gonna lie. Hmm. Yeah, we're gonna need seventy thousand in twenty-five days, uh, fifteen days even. Not gonna happen. I doubt. I don't know. It might. If the train has a big payment, look, it's carrying eighteen at the moment down to the city. If it has a big payment, if it gets there in time, we might be able to put that in. Might. No, we're not. Damn. Okay, I'm going to let this go through the new year. And I will bring you back when we got enough money, A, for this track, and B, for the train. Oh, we're like, ooh. Ah, oh, we was like a thousand off then. Damn. Right, anyway, I will bring you back. Welcome back, guys. And I've been saving. It took me, well, yeah, well over a year. Because I worked out that we're going to need $861,000 to buy a new train. And we've got 900000 And I think we can justify buying it. Because we've got like 30 people waiting here, near enough. And... We've got, we're making a profit on the train line now. We're almost at the capacity. And I think increasing the frequency can only do good for us. So before we buy the train, there is something we need to do. Signals. Otherwise, they'll just keep using the same track. So I'm not going to go over the top. I've completely lost my mouse then. Just going to stick one by there. One either side of this station. So you and you, I'm going to put one just down by here, uh, there, and there, and then down by here. So one there, oh, didn't mean to zoom out, and if we check the lines now, yep, they're using either side of the track, that's perfect. So let's go up to the train depot all the way up here and let's buy our very second train. I know that didn't make much sense, but I'm excited. Oh, we got a few new vehicles while I was waiting. We got the 280 Baldwin, class 56, 
37 miles an hour. Expensive though, so that's out of the question. We also got the American horse cart, which uh, is three miles an hour faster and can carry one more. We also got a tram, and I can't show you that because we don't have a tram depot. Anyway, by trains, the general. I pl please tell me maths was right. It probably isn't. And uh, we need two of these. One, two. Yes, it was right. Perfect. Set line TP Sandy to Stab City. Go. And we're gonna ride the new train. Train one. That's not gonna be train one. That is going to be called TP. Uh. No, it don't need to be called TP. What am I doing? I'm going to call this the Sky Storm uh, out of the old series. That's not spelled right. O R Sky Stormer. After Sky Stormer, YouTube, another YouTuber who plays on Transport Fever. So we now have two trains. What's our frequency? About ten minutes. Yep, ten minutes. So let's just hope that that works and makes a difference. Right, we're going to buy some more road vehicles, because a few of our lines need it. So, Grape Seed feu f Feud, Food needs a few more, one, two, three, four, five, four then, Grape Seed Food, and Polito Fuel could do with a few more, one, two, two, can we get three, come on, yeah, three, Polito fuel. There you go. Close that. Ooh, we got... Really? Really, train? Are you going to do this to me? Screw it. Bye. Go that way. Have fun. And that's exactly why we need signals, because he was going the wrong way up the wrong track. You know. So now they're going to take a while to spread out, because the signals are far apart. But that's a good thing, because you don't want them close together anyway. Like, yeah, you'll have to wait, but meh. Wait, he shouldn't have gone then. Because he didn't pass the signal. Oh, I am not. can't be bothered to deal with that. They'll work themselves out. Uh, right, any more vehicles? Well, definitely yes, but where? Cypress Flats to Sandy could do with a few more. So, when we get the money... Cypress Flats. Can we get another one? What's the date? No, I doubt it. Well, actually, uh, I think we could have then. I'm not sure. Uh, Cypress Flats to Sandy. Perfect. Right, how much we make in a year now? We are making... Last year, we made 371,000. Well, how's the train line doing? Please tell me it's still positive. No, of course not. But it is nearly full. So... Hopefully, right, where's the train? I want to keep an eye on him because I don't want him to do something serious. There's one. Is he going to wait at the signal? He should do, really, realistically. Yes, he is. Perfect. Oh, we're making 100,000 on Pleto Fuel now. That's good. I think we've done quite well this episode. I think we definitely have. The thing to do now is to keep expanding the train line. So that is annoying how we won't go over the road there. It's going to cost like a million pounds to do something about that. Um, I know we've got no money, but theoretically, could we do something now? Even if it's not the nicest looking thing in the world. Uh, we could break your 100,000 in an after curve room. I don't think there's anything we can really do about that. Which is unfortunate. Definitely. Hmm. It does kind of suck. I want to connect that to Elysian Island as well, but you've seen how much that's going to cost. Right, is the train line still losing us money? I think when the next train comes in, it should be good. I want to go first person and watch them overtake each other. Two trains passing for the first time in the series. 
and they're going to pass right down in this divot right here. That's all I wanted to see. I'm easily amused, what can I say? Um, right. Grape seed food still needs some more vehicles, I think. Pit of fuel, when those vehicles actually pick stuff up, that should be, do quite well. Uh, Cypress Flats to Sandy. That needs more vehicles every time I look at it. I really want the passenger trains to get up to some decent money, like. Like, that's really what the future of this series depends on. The train working. It really is. At least there's a lot of people waiting there for the bus. What's the populations like now? 875... 590 in Vinewood, 462 in Sandy, that's here. Uh, lots after Sandy Grapeseed, that's not really surprising. Del Perro and Stab City. Del Perro has grown a lot. That's this down here. Oh, wow. Whoa. Jeez. When I put the Sandy Shores line in, that was literally, like, from there, just this cross in the middle. Now it's expanded all the way up to the city. Wow, I am impressed. That's definitely a good thing. Right, vehicles. I want to buy some more vehicles. Buy. One, two, three, four, five. Grapeseed food. And one, two, three, four. Three then. You're going on Polito Fuel. Perfect. Ah, we got some more money now. Pause. Uh, do, do I put more signals in? No, nah, we don't need it at the moment. Buy road vehicles. Open you back up. I don't know why I closed you in the first place. Uh, Calafia. I think Calafia needs some new vehicles. So one, two. Uh, Calafia one. One, two. Calafia two. And that's about it. Play. Okay, guys. So, this episode's probably shorter than usual. I don't know. I've broken this one up into segment segments because my game crashed last time I was recording. But I think it's been quite a productive video. We're starting to get into the train territory now, which is where we should start making the big money. So, I think this would be a good place to leave it. So, if you want any vehicles named after you or anything or you have any suggestions about the series, or what games you'd like to play, then give me a shout out. I know a few of you liked, well, I know at least one of you liked uh, Airport Madness 3D. If you want to see me play that again, make sure you leave a comment. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video, and I'll catch you next time. Peace out, guys.